uh, I can hear the other one down river now. Back in, uh, sounds like it's back in the nesting area. It was uh, just uh, when I was recording a bit of video earlier, I saw something fly into the tree line there and I was wondering what it was and uh, I know now it was the other juvenile, I can hear it. It's being very vocal and uh, I'm wondering if one of the adults brought some food back to the nesting area because that's one thing they haven't been doing this year. They've there has been very, very few reports of them returning to the nest. In fact, Dwayne, a uh, fellow that spends a lot of time down there too, says he hasn't even seen him back that way. There's a heron that way. Oh, starting to get a light rain again. I thought maybe this one would head towards the nest after hearing all that commotion over there. But, uh, And too bad it wasn't a little sunnier this morning. This thing's, this guy's perched, guy or girl, is perched in a perfect spot, wide open. Would have been great for photographs too. No obstructions around them. They're calling for this weather all day long, so. I did get a few pictures snapped off yesterday that I haven't looked at yet, too. And, uh, have to see how they came out. I hear ya. Your turn for breakfast. You can see how overcast it is. And like I say, a light rain and oh yeah, yeah. You're hungry. I'm hungry too. That was a huge kingfisher. Well, it'd be interesting to find out if they did go back to the nesting tree or 
that's that's the area the sound was coming from. 